to today's video. So first off, I have to mention the elephant in the room, which is my hair. I've curled it and I have no idea what has just happened. I basically just got some curling tongs out that I haven't used in so, so long and curled it and it's made my hair go super short and go so 60s. So yeah, I'm not loving it and I hate the colour as well. So anyway, that's not, that's not here nor there. Hmm? Anyway. We're not here to talk about that. This is gonna be a first impressions video on another Catrice foundation. Now, I have to mention, I know I've been doing a lot of Catrice makeup videos at the moment, and this is seriously gonna be one of the last ones. I just really, the more I like buy, and the more I just read about Catrice, I'm kind of more intrigued by it. And every time I go to their counter, there's always something new. So obviously, I wanna try it. Um, so this foundation jumped out at me and it's new like on Instagram, I've seen it on Instagram and it's new to like certain areas but I know some people have had this foundation in other areas for quite a while. So it is the Velvet Finish foundation with hydrolonic, I can't even say that. Anyway, it's supposed to be like a velvet matte foundation with vitamin E and uh, B5. It says it's long lasting and mattifying and all of that good stuff. So I just wanted to give it a go and absolutely, and as, come on Jen, talk. And as I absolutely love their new um, liquid camouflage concealers, I picked up the concealer to match this foundation. So basically I'm gonna do a review on both of these today. Um, I'm gonna, Put this on, do my full face of makeup, and then just do check-ins throughout the day to see how it is lasting. Um, first, anyway, on my face, I'm gonna put the Catrice Anti-Red Base Primer because my face is so different colors at the minute and I'm having breakouts and yeah, so I thought I would use it with a primer. So I'm gonna put it on with using a damp beauty blender just to see. So first I'm going to put on my green primer. Now the foundation. I have this in shade 010 Light Velvet. How cute is this? Look how tiny it is. And this is the normal like full size one. So yeah, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. And I'm going to pump that out. Come on. Now I'm going to blend this in. Okay, so this is one coverage, one coverage, one application, yes, of the foundation. I have to say, when I was blending it in, it was like instant high coverage. I wouldn't say it was like full, 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 full coverage, but it's definitely a medium coverage and it, I don't know, it just, it did blend on really nice. And when you go super close to the mirror, it doesn't look, there's some foundations that can look like they're just sitting on your skin. This one actually looks like it's going in. I really like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like this close to the mirror. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it there with just one coverage, one coverage, one application. Um, and the reason for that is just because I feel like it's really a nice application. I don't feel like I need to really build it up. I think one full on application is worked and it covered quite well. So I'm gonna move on to the concealer now. This is the Velvet Finish Concealer with Hydroronic. Hydron. 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 Anyway, I cannot say that word. Uh, yeah, this. Um, so, can you see it? So this has got SPF 6 and it says it's going to look, give the appearance of a lift and, and it gives an anti-wrinkle effect. So hopefully it's as good as the other one. I have this in 010 again, velvet. Ivory, what was this one? Oh, light velvet, okay. So I'm gonna do what I always do, 
with the concealer and put it in kind of a V. I've got to say I really like the doe foot applicator, it's really nice. So there, I'm also going to just highlight with it, why not, down my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and then get that one. Right, let's see how this blends out. So I'm going to use the Beauty Blender again. Okay, so that is with the concealer blended out. Now, the concealer didn't blend out as easy as the camouflage concealer, the other one that I love by Catrice, but it has got a really nice brightening, brightening, brightening um, effect, but the coverage for the under eye, the other one's a bit better. But I'm gonna put some more on, and let's see if we can build it up. Okay, so there is the sort of second light application blended out, and I really like it. It really, really feels nice on my skin. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't feel tight, it also doesn't feel wet. When you put some uh, foundation and concealers on, your skin can feel quite wet. So this actually doesn't, it feels weird just touching myself, touching my face like this. But no, it feels nice. I like it. So I'm gonna go and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and I will talk through how it sat with me applying my makeup on top of it. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back and I have done the rest of my makeup and I'm still really impressed with the foundation and concealer. I, yeah, I like it. I really like the way it's sitting. It has settled a little bit into like my laugh lines and I do have like one frown, frown, frown line there which is kind of settled in but apart from that up to now it's looking good so I'll do a check-in in a couple of hours and we'll see how it is looking I'm pretty sure I'm gonna look a lot different than I do right now because I'm gonna film another video now so let's see how it all holds up filming another video yes Gotta say my hair looks so much better now it's settled a bit. Thank God it looks so weird before. So yeah, the foundation's doing really well and I think I've applied it, what, half an hour ago? So it's got all my makeup on top of it and yeah, I'll check in in a little while. Hi everyone! So this is my first check-in. It is four o'clock now and I've had this on my face for about five hours and I'm really liking the way it is still sitting on my face. It has... It has sort of sat into this fine line here and it's sort of crunkled, crunkled? Yeah, sort of got into the crinkled. Crinkled? Yeah, anyway, it's sort of gone into the lines, like two little lines here from where, where I frown. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it's sitting really, really well actually. And I didn't put too much powder on today because I wanted to see how matte Defying. it actually was, uh, is, and it really is. It's working really, really well. I'll zoom you in a little bit. So I've zoomed you in and you can just see a little bit here. See it's sitting in this line here and then just in between my eyebrows there's like frown, frown lines. Oh, I can't do it now. There, that frown line there, it sort of sits in that, but I mean, all in all, it's looking pretty good. It's really he held up really well. So I will check it in a little bit later on. So yeah, up to now, this Velvet Finish Foundation by Catrice is doing really, really well. Okay, so this is my, I think it's 6.30 check-in and we are out walking the dog. We're at a big lake walking the dog. Um, yeah, the foundation, absolutely, at the moment. You can't really see because my phone's in the way, but I'm absolutely loving it. It's amazing. It's not 
really not much. It's not got worse between my eyes with the sitting in the lines and around my face. I'm absolutely loving it. Absolutely loving it. And I was just saying today, if then, it's like comparable to my L'Oreal Infallible at the minute with just how matte it stayed all day. I'm really, really liking it. So I'm going to walk the dog and then I'll check in when I get home. So it is, I think it's nearly nine o'clock now and this is going to be my last check-in for today and this foundation and I have to say I have been super super impressed with it. The only thing that I, when I'm looking in the mirror now is that you can see I've lost a little bit of it on my chin. Um, but that's it. Everything else is still on perfectly. So yeah, this foundation has been awesome, the concealer has been amazing and I definitely, definitely have liked it and do rate it for oily skin because it definitely does mattify. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! -bye.